So, as you all know, I've mentioned I'm not a truck guy. I much prefer cars like that, or like that, or like the ones in the garage. But, I find myself needing trucks when I'm either hauling dirt bikes around, pulling a car, like towing, or uh, the other hobby we have, which is snowboarding. So, for snowboarding, since it's a truck and not an SUV, I always keep us you know, a soft cover up top that helps with keeping stuff dry in the bed when you're putting suitcases and stuff back here. But then uh, I don't have a snowboard rack on this vehicle. So this was my other Prime Day purchase. They actually canceled my order and then I had to reorder it, but it's just a uh, anti-fatigue, anti-slip restaurant style mat. And I'm just gonna throw that in here to put the snowboards on. So let's talk about Sylvia here for a minute. If you've been following these trucks since they came out, then you know they have had a lot of issues and a lot of recalls, a lot of engine failures, which is now being covered under recall. And I was really excited for this truck when it first came out. I never had a, a new Toyota before the only Toyota I really ever owned was that uh, 99 Tacoma, which was a great little truck with 300,000 miles on it. But uh, before I bought this, I was strongly considering a Frontier Pro 4X. Because while I do tow a little bit, and you know, I do like having four wheel drive for the snow when I'm up in the mountains. I don't really need a half ton. I like the uh, the extra interior space, but I don't really need it. You know, I have a, a small family, one child, one wife who isn't too tall. So I was strongly considering a Frontier Pro 4X before I made the decision to go ahead and pull the trigger on this truck. And, uh, if you've been paying attention to the truck world, the new the new Frontier Pro 4X, well, for 2025, the new Frontiers in general, they just um, they just announced the updates, right? So the main reason that I ended up not getting that truck was because it only had a five foot bed, and I was hoping to get a five and a half foot or a six six and a half foot bed. Uh, you know, just to have some extra room with the dirt bikes. But this truck, with the five and a half foot bed, you know, the dirt bikes fit back there pretty well. So honestly, I can't complain too much there. But for 2025, the Frontier has the um, six foot bed option in the Pro 4X trim, which was the trim that I liked. And it also has the leather seats it also has heated and I don't know about ventilated, but it has a lot to offer. But the biggest thing that I like about it is that it still has a naturally aspirated motor. No turbo banger with a turbo four banger. Like it's a naturally aspirated six cylinder, good horsepower, good torque. Honestly, gas mileage, anything would be better than this truck. I've got 13,000 miles on it. And even though these wheels are larger, they are lighter than stock, including the tires. And even with these larger but lighter wheels, I'm averaging like 13, 13 miles to the gallon, according to the truck. So yeah, pretty much anything would be better than that. So I don't know, we'll see. But I have to say, after I saw the news about the 25 Pro 4X having the six foot bed option and a new larger screen, which is also pretty nice. You know, it's not 14 inch like this truck. I think it's 12.8, but it's not like you need a 14 inch screen in your truck. I don't know, I'm just rambling, but yeah, I am a little tempted to possibly sell this one when the time comes and pick up one of those Frontiers. We'll see.